How you doing guys? Ryan here. Um, I just want to jump in quick, make a short video. Um, if you guys have seen, uh, I think it was two videos ago, maybe three, about that John Shred 2065 with the 52 millimeter uh, big bore kidnet pop-up highway. Um, I just want to give a big shout out to uh, Ryan at Wolf Creek's shop, uh, saw shop. Um, he warrantied everything, so... If you go back in my in my playlist or in my uh, under videos, you'll see that John Shred video, and um, you'll see it up close to the cylinder and what what happened and what, what I think happened or what 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 I can tell happened. Um, the plating came off and that's all locked up. Anyway, like I said, big shout out to Ryan at Wolf Creek Saw Shop. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers deal with them, um, a lot of saw guys. Um, you can buy these highway cylinders elsewhere, probably directly from Highway 2. Um, Ryan at uh, Wolf Creek, uh, they're in the United States. I'm up in Canada. I just want to thank him. He sent me the whole complete top end kit. Uh, same thing that I had put on there in the first place. So he warranted that. And uh, I just want to say if you guys are into ordering top ends or saw parts, period, go check them out. Um, uh, it's at wolfcreeksawshop.com and um like i said it's you can get them elsewhere but why would you um if he's gonna this literally i sent him a one email he replied i sent him a picture of the the cylinder he sent one reply saying it's in the mail it was simple as that um great service absolutely great service you get you guys you can't beat it um i don't care if you you might get it a little cheaper somewhere else who knows like I said, it's not worth it. Not to me anyway. Um, absolutely great service. Above and beyond what I would have expected. Um, also, I have... Um, I have um, two complete top end kits for those. The 757X engines, C2 engines. There's a kit here. And then there's another one here that's not even open that came in. Okay? So those will be on the channel soon. Stay tuned. And um, also that John Sered 2065. Um, I don't know what we're doing with that saw yet. Um, I'm probably going to take that in on a trade. So I, I might put it back to OEM. I do have an OEM, the original um, jug and piston that came off that saw. It wasn't blowing up or nothing. It wasn't worn out. He just, like I said, he just wanted to big bore it. And it was an experimental thing. So I don't know what's going to happen if uh, we are going to put this Um on it probably not i'm probably going to put it back to oem like i said so this will be for a future build um this is a 372 chassis 365 2065 2172 2171 you know all that that same 372 chassis anyway um stay tuned for more to come thanks guys take it easy enjoy your weekend cheers